Hello, hello, my candle-loving friends. Kim here, and welcome on back to my happy place. Today's video, guys, is going to be a bath and body works haul video. As you can see on your screen right now, I recently picked up six what I would call fall fragrances from Bath and Body Works. Now, I know for many people, fall is their absolute favorite season of the year. They love it. They love the fall type fragrances and people go crazy with candle buying at this time of year. Now, for me, I am actually in my summer. I have just started summer. I mean, technically, I suppose we are still in spring, but it feels like summer. And even apart from that, I am not someone who generally goes crazy for fall type of scents. I do sometimes find they can be too heavy. There's too much spice, cinnamon, clove, all of that. They can also be very cloying. Sometimes I find like after I burn um, a, a traditional fall gourmand for quite a while, I actually start to feel a bit nauseous almost. So fall is not my favorite season when it comes to candles. However, Bath & Body Works did release some this year that I was very keen to get. I do love honey. I love sweet scents. So I love honey. I love vanilla type scents. I love... Um, Strangely enough, I do actually love caramel and pumpkin and those type of notes. They just can't be over the top for me. So where fall loses me a little bit is it loses me with all the pumpkin and all the heavy apple and the heavy spices. So the candles I'm going to show and share with you today are ones that I looked at and I watched reviews about and they just sounded to me like they were going to be up my alley. So guys... For today's video, what I'm going to do, as always, is I'm just going to show the candles to you one by one. I'm then going to read the scent notes to you on the bottom of the jars, and I'm going to let you know what I smell. And then from there, obviously, hopefully that will help you decide if you are interested in any of these. Now, I know that Bath & Body Works is in the process of rolling out all their Christmas slash holiday 2024 candles, but I'm sure some of these you will still be able to find in stores or online if you are interested. Okay, guys, so let's kick things off. Hopefully, I'm going to try not to let this video be too long. Like I say, it's really just to give you the scent notes and give you an idea of what I smell. First things first, guys, let's start with this candle. So this is Farmhouse Pumpkin and Spice. Now, let's just have a quick look at the label, which I think is absolutely stunning. I love this type of label. I'm all for it. It just looks so homey to me. And it also just looks like a fall label. It looks like an autumn type of scent. Oh, but before I go on, I wanted to show you guys something. Look at the coloring <laughs> of these six candles. I mean, if the coloring doesn't shout fall to you guys, then I don't know what does. But anyway, gang. So like I've said, this is, oh, sorry. This is Farmhouse Pumpkin and Spice. So if I show you the wax, the wax is a nice white wax. These are the thicker, more rope-like wicks. I know some people don't love these wicks, but um, for me, I don't really mind. You know, Bath & Body Works candles can be problematic, I think, irrespective of the wicks. But anyway, the fragrance notes on this one are heirloom pumpkin, patchouli, and fall spices. So, of course, it's got pumpkin and it's got spices, which are two things that I don't generally gravitate towards. But it does also have patchouli, and I actually quite like patchouli. And I just thought that this mix of scent notes just sounded so interesting. I couldn't really wrap my mind around how pumpkin would blend with patchouli and how patchouli would blend with, with fall spices. And so I did decide to pick this one up because I was just intrigued. The good news, guys, is that I really do like it. It is not spice heavy. I get the pumpkin, actually. I almost My nose almost picks up the pumpkin first as the first scent note, and then I get the patchouli. It's interesting, and it almost leans a tiny bit. I don't know if I want to say cologne or if I want to say perfume. I don't think it's perfumey because it's lacking a it's lacking the type of sweetness that you sometimes get with perfumey type scents. So to me, this one is almost leaning slightly body care-esque, 
but I really do like it. It's a very interesting blend. Like I say, I got pumpkin first, then I got the patchouli, then I got a hint of spice. If you are someone who is like me and you don't love your spices, then this one would probably be okay to try because I don't think this one was very spice heavy. It's an interesting scent, like I say does lean a little bit body care-esque. So if you can handle that or you think that might appeal to you, then this will be one to check out. I really like that and I'm looking forward to, to burning that one. Right, let's move on to Mahogany Vanilla. Again, I'm just going to show you the packaging. This is obviously in the same style of packaging as the one I just showed you. And again, I just absolutely love this. I think it's very homely. And I also think it's quite elegant. I think this is quite elegant packaging and I love this. Now, this is a, a scent or a candle that I think many people have already tried. I have never. This is a new to me candle. So let's have a look at the scent notes. So the scent notes say warm vanilla, fresh bergamot and sweet sandalwood. So let me see. Oh, firstly, showing you the wax. Nice white color with the three wicks. Obviously, again, they are the thicker rope like wicks. Oh, this one is lovely, you guys. Lovely, lovely. Mm, I'm definitely getting the bergamot. Definitely, definitely. But I'm also getting the sandalwood. Oh, it's beautiful. This is a beautiful scent. And there is a little bit of sweetness there. Do I specifically pick up the vanilla? Yes, maybe. Maybe it is there. Oh, this is lovely. This is just blended together so well. All three of those scent notes do come through, but it's just a great blend. Nothing sort of jumps out more than the other one. Oh, yes, I really, really like this one, guys. This is not overly woody, though. If you were thinking that maybe you'd get a heavy wood sort of, of scent from this one, I don't specifically get a heavy wood note. Um... I'm just, it's probably more like the scent notes say sandalwood. Blending with that, that bergamot. Oh, that is just stunning. Very happy with this one. Would highly recommend if the scent notes uh, appeal to you. You might want to give that one a try. Right, now let's move on to the third one. Whipped, whipped honey and vanilla. So again, guys, just showing you the packaging. Again, it's in the same vein of what I've already shown you. Gorgeous packaging, very autumn slash fall, all these pumpkins, oh, just really, really lovely packaging, very homely, like I've said, and to me, um, yeah, just creating a cozy, homely vibe. So this is whipped honey and vanilla, again, white wax, which as many of you know, I love, thick wicks. Right, so the scent notes on this one are fresh vanilla, golden honey, and blossoming neroli. All right, let's have a smell of this one. Oh, this one. <laughs> this one is to die for, guys. I'm definitely getting the floral note. I'm definitely getting the neroli, but I'm not someone who loves florals. I do buy florals now and then, but typically I buy them when they are well blended with other scent notes to dilute the heaviness of the floral in a way. So I tend to like my florals diluted often with fruit. This one obviously is a fall candle. It doesn't have fruit in it, but it is diluted by the honey, which I definitely pick up as well as the vanilla. This is my favorite out of the three that I've smelled so far. Mm, I'm getting the sweetness from the honey. I'm getting the slight vanilla there in the background as well. And then I'm getting a floral note, but it's not, it's not heavy floral, but it is definitely there. And I think Neroli on its own probably also has a slightly sweet sort of um, note to it. So you're getting the sweetness and the floral from the Neroli and then added to that the honey. Oh, yes, this one, this one just hits the mark for me, you guys. I do think you have to be okay with florals, but I don't think you have to be a heavy floral lover. If you are someone that can take florals in small doses, or you like me and you like your florals to be mixed with other scent notes, then please give this one a go, you guys. This one is absolutely beautiful. It's very feminine. Yeah, it's definitely feminine, definitely sweet, definitely a little bit of floral there. And then round it out with the vanilla. Oh, you guys, this one is a knockout. 
<laughs> okay, so on that note, let's move on to the next one here, which is Pumpkin Bonfire. This packaging is okay. I'm not crazy about the sort of brown, but it does obviously mix in and does suit the season. So that's all right. And again, guys, this is a scent or a candle that many people have already tried. It's new to me. Again, plain white wax and very thick wicks. I don't know if you guys can see, especially this one over here, very thick wicks over there. So I'm happy about the white wax, I must tell you guys, because I absolutely love white wax. Okay, the scent notes on this candle. White pumpkin, a bundle of clove buds, and glowing embers. Okay, so let's see what we think of this one. Oh, <laughs> this is such a good haul, you guys. This is such a good haul. This is another fantastic scent. I'm getting the glowing embers first and foremost. Now, it doesn't smell smoky it's not heavy smoke like you get stuff from some of the um the halloween type candles like kringle some of kringle's smoky candles are coming to mind there's a sweetness there's a definite sweetness to this one that is then blended with what is obviously glowing embers so i'm getting that warm note i'm getting a woody note definitely a woody note but not a smoky note Oh, this one is a knockout. Now, I don't specifically smell any sort of heavy pumpkin here. But I also sometimes do battle to smell pumpkin really in candles. I think it's quite a background scent often. But it's there. Yeah, it's definitely there. This is another immaculately blended candle. I'm just loving this one. That woody sort of fireside note, but no smoke. Blended with the um, pumpkin and blended with the clove buds, but not clove in terms of spice. I can smell the clove there, but it's very nice. It's very appealing. It's not off-putting. It's not heavy spice. Oh, so I would say with this one, guys, I firstly get a wood note. Then coming through after that are the clove buds. They say buds. They don't say clove. And the pumpkin is also there. But, oh, this is a lovely candle. I seriously suggest you guys try this one. It's also coming across as fairly pretty. And by pretty, I don't mean just a female type or feminine type of scent. It's just a lovely, it's not a harsh, fireside, smoky type of scent. It's just so well blended and, in a way, almost a little bit sweet and delicious. <laughs> okay, so moving on. I went and put these ones all back on top, but anyway, never mind. Right, moving on, we have Honey Wildflower. Now, of course, I would have got this one, guys, because I've said already in this video, I absolutely love honey. I love sweet scents. I think this label is gorgeous. All these fall type of colors on the leaves, stunning, stunning, stunning. So this one is one that I really wanted to try. So again, I'm sure, yep. White wax, so all of these candles so far have had white wax, which I'm okay with. These are the thinner wicks, if you can see, that have the little, I don't know what it is in the middle of the wick, but you can almost see it as a dot in the middle of the wick. So anyway, this is also the first candle we've had with the thinner wicks, but let's have a look at these scent notes. So here we get crisp pear, fresh wild flowers, and sweet honey. I'll be very surprised if we can smell the pear strongly here, because pear is such a delicate scent note, and mixed with, with floral and honey, I don't think it stands much chance, but let's see. Mm -hmm. I like this one, but it's light. Mm -hmm. Let me give it a bit of a rub because I'm battling to detect strong scent notes here. I don't know. Am I getting pear? I'm really trying to focus on the pear. Yeah, not specifically. Like, I can maybe tell that there's some sort of fruit note. Obviously, it comes across as a fruit that is not a berry or anything like that. But I also wouldn't be able to, like, if I hadn't seen the scent notes, would I be able to tell you there's pear in this candle? No, I wouldn't. And like I say, it's light, which I'm surprised about, because I would have thought the floral, in terms of the um, fresh wildflowers, would have made this a bit stronger. I'm sorry, guys, I'm battling to describe this one to you because it's really the, the scent notes. Well, I shouldn't say the scent notes. I should say, yeah, well, actually, the scent notes are not coming through to me in a very distinct way. It's pretty. It's nice. 
It's nothing stand out. There's nothing again that I can tell you is absolutely wow about it. And I am battling to really explain it to you because I'm battling to smell it. Yeah, this one is very light, you guys. So if anything, what I'm getting is some sort of light floral. There's not a heavy amount of sweetness. So I don't think that honey is doing very much. And then there may be a slight hint of pear there, but I have to go searching for it. And even then, I'm not 100% sure that I find it. So this may be a candle that will live out its days in our guest bathroom or our downstairs um, toilet area, our guest toilet, just because, um, yeah, this one is smelling... Um, very light to me and like I say I am battling to to smell anything to actually describe it to you okay guys on to the last candle out of the six maple pumpkin now this is one of my favorite labels of these because it is actually textured so these pumpkins here are actually very smooth and they are textured and they are slightly higher than the rest of the label so Again, a lovely label. I'm really enjoying these four labels. I think they've been done so well, and I think they are really pretty. So, okay, pumpkin. No, not pumpkin first, maple pumpkin. Now, I said already at the beginning of this video that I do love my caramel scents, maple, toffee, all of those, provided they aren't overly rich, overly cloying. So this is a candle that just seemed to me to be a candle that I would enjoy. Again, white wax, and again, very, very thick, stumpy wicks. Okay, gang, so let's have a look at the scent notes on this one. This one says pumpkin spice, sweet maple syrup, and brown sugar. Okay, so lots of sweetness going on here. We have maple syrup, which is dead sweet. We have brown sugar, which is fairly sweet. And then we have pumpkin spice. So I should, all things being equal, I should love this one. Oh yes, and I do. The maple is there first. Yeah, the maple is definitely there. I'm not even sure if I can specifically distinguish brown sugar because once you have the sweetness from the maple, there's nothing to my nose that screams brown sugar. It's obviously just a fragrance oil that was added to the candle, but there's nothing to say that your nose is going to specifically pick that up. What I pick up first and foremost is maple. Well blended, obviously, with the other scent notes. It's not cloying, it doesn't hit me over the head, but it is there, and it is sort of a top note that my nose picks up on before I pick up on other things. Yeah, and then there's a tiny bit of pumpkin spice in the background to make this one a more gourmand type scent. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> it's lovely. If you are someone that enjoys your gourmands, and if you are okay with spice, provided that it's gourmand or bakery type spice, which I generally do like. I do enjoy bakery type gourmand type spices. So this one is lovely. There's obviously no coke, uh, coke. There's obviously no cake or cookie note. You see, I had cake and cookie in my head at the same time. It came out as coke. <laughs> so there's obviously no cake or cookie note in this candle but it just is sweet gourmand goodness without actually the heavy or should I say without any bakery element the maple is there prominently the brown sugar I don't specifically get and then obviously the pumpkin spice is there in the background this is not overly spicy if you are someone who does not enjoy spices or if you are someone who's okay with bakery spices, when they just add a deliciousness to the candle, then you are going to enjoy this one. This one smells lovely. Guys, I am so happy with this haul. These all smell absolutely stunning. I am so excited to have all of these in my collection. Like I've said already, we are in summer, so I'm not going to be burning any of these at this stage. They are going to sit over in my collection until 2025. And I love all of them, you guys. I think my least favorite is probably Honey Wildflower, just because, not because the scent is bad. The scent is really nice, but it is very, very gentle. It is very, very light. I'm battling to pick up on any sort of strong notes there. I think my favorite is the whipped honey and vanilla. That one is just absolutely stunning. Very different, um, but stunning as well. And then I think probably, oh, then it's hard to say. Then it's hard to say. Pumpkin bonfire is wonderful. Mahogany vanilla is wonderful. Maple pumpkin vanilla, uh, sorry, maple pumpkin is wonderful. So yeah, guys, I think let me go out on this basis. My favorite is whipped honey and vanilla. Least favorite is honey wildflower just because of the weak um, scent strength on cold. 
Okay, my friends, I hope you have enjoyed that video. I hope it has helped you to decide if you would like to pick any of these up and which ones you are leaning towards. If you are able to go into a store, obviously, then you can do that and you can smell these for yourself. But I know a lot of people order online or they prefer to order online and then watching videos like this can be helpful. Okay, my friends, and on that note, it's time for me to sign off and say goodbye and say happy burning, friends. Bye.